All right, family, I welcome. I the economic situation out there affecting me. I believe I affect the economic situation that I live in. If somebody else can have a problem with inflation, somebody else can have a problem with the economy, but not me. Because I am not going to allow it. When I allowed the outside environment to come into me, then it destroyed me. I had to learn to live from me out. I had to learn to make what I believe inside me happen in my outside world. I had to get my dream in me. Success is a present realization of a worthwhile dream. Give yourself time to succeed. Make up your mind, I will be there. That's it, period. People said nothing good can come out of Rome, New York. Jackson Bernie, you have done what no one else has ever done. Success is a progressive realization of a worthwhile dream. It starts with a dream. You gotta have a dream. See, I know a guy that was dating a girl back when he was about 16 years old. And when he dated girls, he always liked to take them out first class in accordance with his income. And he had a girl he was dating, but she turned to him and said, my folks would never allow me to marry you. You're nothing but a spendthrift and you'll have nothing ever. I was that guy. I was that guy. I don't know where that girl is, but I know where this guy is. I can, I can tell you. I don't know if y'all excited yet. About Dexter and Bernie. Living on the alley. Well, anybody can go down on Cortland Ave in Rome, New York, and they see how we lived. And it was in a sloppy section. It was a poor section of town. Don't tell me how bad you got it. Tell me how good you're gonna get it. Don't tell me about your problems. Tell me about your dreams. Dreams are the solution to your problems. Everybody's got problems. Everybody's got challenges. Everybody's got something to overcome. But the joy is overcoming it. How big is your dream tonight? Can you dream big enough? Will you put a commitment behind the dream? Will you make it happen? Things don't just happen. Somebody makes them happen. Don't tell me about the night after night after night after night you've been out there and you've shown the plans and nobody got in and nobody and nobody and nobody got in and your friends laughed at you and they ridiculed you. It's too late. It's saturated. It'll never happen. It won't work. You're going to listen to the losers or the winners. Onassis, before he died, said if he was dead from... If he had to work at manual labor, save up all his money, and once a month go to a very nice restaurant where successful people met, where you could sit and listen and pick the crumbs off the table. Maybe meet somebody that could tell him something he would dedicate his life to do because he knew he would succeed. So many, many times today, we listen to the losers instead of the winners. There may be 10,000 losers out there to tell you it won't work. Listen to the one winner that says, you can be anything that you choose to be. The Bible says, as a man believeth in his heart, so is he. In other words, the facts don't count.
hearts are winners from the losers. It's not what somebody else says can happen. It's what you know can happen. By being out there, hanging around winners instead of losers. I'll tell you, if I had the opportunity going back when I first got in this business to spend any amount of time with anybody that was building it, I would. I'd pay whatever price. I'd drive whatever distance. I'd go wherever I had to go to learn. Make a decision tonight that you're going to make it. The dreams all that count. The dreams. Doesn't make any difference if you're short and fast. Doesn't make any difference if you're tall and skinny. Don't make any difference if you're short and skinny. Or tall and fast. Doesn't make any difference if you're 25 or 45. Doesn't make any difference if in the economic situation out there affecting me. I believe I affect the economic situation that I live in. If somebody else can have a problem with inflation, somebody else can have a problem with the economy, uh -oh. but not me. Y'all know what it is. Because I'm not going to allow it. When I allowed the outside environment to come into me, then it destroyed me. I had to learn to live from me out. I had to learn to make what I believe inside me happen in my outside world. I had to get my dream in me. Success is a progressive realization of a worthwhile dream. Give yourself time to succeed. Make up your mind, I will be there. That's it, period. If you're going to be there, let me see some fire in the chat. Nothing good can come out of wrong. Let me see. Let me see if you're going to be there. You have done what no one else has ever done. Success is a progressive realization of a worthwhile dream. It starts with a dream. You gotta have a dream. See, I know I'm... I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That beginning... That beginning just give me hype. I'm gonna play it one more time. I don't need y'all here to begin it one more time. I don't believe in the economic situation out there affecting me. I believe I affect the economic situation that I live in. Uh-oh. If somebody else can have a problem with inflation... They can have a problem. We can have no problem with the, with the economy? Man, y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Somebody say, who is this? Who is this? Well, y'all about to find out. Because that's the audio of the month for April. We're going to drop it in the chat. Uh, we're going to have Audrey uh, drop it uh, for the month of April. But uh, I want to make sure uh, we uh, get excited for the speaker that we have coming on. Like, listen, you all know. This is virtual, right? This is a virtual call, but it's a real call, right? This this is about as big as we this is this is about as as uh, as real as we can get it these days. So I want him to feel the vibration, the energy. Like if this was an audience, if this was a room, I need him to hear the applause from the chat before we bring him on. So before I even start talking about him, before I start introducing him, I want to see some sevens in the chat if y'all ready. And then when we bring him on. And then when we bring him on, I want you to have some flames ready to go. So as soon as he comes on the chat, y'all can let him know ex how excited uh, you are. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring on uh, my brother from another mother. Man, I, I uh, appreciate this gentleman so much. Uh, I got a chance to meet him. Actually, this is my first time really meeting him uh, when, I, when I got into this company two and a half years ago. I saw him from afar in the industry and heard about a lot of the great things that he had done. And then finally got a chance to partner up over here in business. And, you know, he came to an event that we had in Atlanta. Then he also we went, we went and had an event in D.C. And uh, when I tell you humble, um, that's not the word for it. That's one of the things I really appreciate about, you know, the leadership that we have over here. Because we have people that have made just some ridiculous income. And, and, and that's in a positive way. But, you know, they don't, they don't treat people like that. You know, they, uh, they've got a heart for people. Um, they, they really are out here doing. He's one of the hardest working men I've seen in the industry. 
ladies and gentlemen, listen, he made $30 million <laughs> in the industry before he was 30. We're not talking about basketball money. We're not talking about, you know, sports or, month, or anything like that. We're talking about literally from this industry. That is an incredible, uh, incredible thing to be able to do. And, guys, we're, we're still rolling. We're still going. And so, uh, you know, this gentleman has a special place in my heart. I appreciate you uh, jumping on the call. We got a chance to talk. And uh, I know he's pumped up. I know he's ready. Uh, I, I can't wait till we can get, out, get back out there in the field. I know you're going to tear it up. We're going to tear it back up once we get out there, man. But I want y'all to drop some fire in the chat for my man, Chairman Elite, eight-figure earner, Mr. Alex Moore. And y'all, y'all show him some love. How you doing, man? I am good. J-O, Justin Owens, man, I'm good, bro. How you doing? You, how, how you holding up in this whole situation? Hey, man, I'm blessed. I, I need to take a little vacation, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm holding up yeah. good. I need to do rest. <laughs> well, hey, man, I want to say I, I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate that introduction. I'm, I'm excited to be here tonight to talk with, you know, this organization. Uh, I got a chance to come to the, uh, the Run the Play conference uh, a few months ago in Atlanta, and it was, um, it was special. You know, I, I've been in a lot of events in the last nine and a half years in this industry, and I really could feel the energy and the vibe in there, you know, with your mom and dad, and it was just a special, special thing to witness. And, uh, and to be a part of. So that was... Um, appreciate that, bro. We enjoy having you, man. We appreciate you coming, man. Yeah, yeah. So how do you want to run this, man? Like, do you want me just to go off on a couple things? Yeah, go, go off on a couple things. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. and then then we'll, we'll save some time at the end for some q and I know, I know we had a few questions that that um, that I, I'll ask you uh, here. Um, but yeah, go ahead and do your thing, and then once we wrap up, we'll have some, uh, some Q&A. Okay, okay. Well, amazing, guys. So I've been on calls all day, like all of you guys have been on calls all day. You know, April 1 is um, it's coming up quick. I believe it's tomorrow. And first of all, I want to say, you know, you guys have an, a, an amazing leader and, and an amazing person to, uh, to model after. You know, Justin Owens is somebody that just, just does it the right way. Um, you know, we work close. You know, obviously, we, we met through David, and David's one of my super close friends. And, you know, Justin's just a good guy. Good guy, big heart, very talented, actually very funny. Also, uh, coming from the stage and stuff like that, and his Instagram uh, videos really cracked me up. But you guys, the first thing I want to say is that, you know, right now with everything going on, you know, the, the pandemic, the crisis, all, all these, all these kinds of things, I challenge you tonight, number one, to, to shift your perception on what's happening right now um, in, in the global economy. So hopefully you guys are taking notes. You know, we all, we all know that, you know, note takers are, you know, money makers. That's not just a slogan or a model. That's actually that got honest truth. And what I can tell you is that after nine and a half years, after being in, you know, three different companies, um, this one, God willing, will be my, my final hurrah. And we, we all think that on top of the people that are, you know, the core leadership of this company. I think one of the reasons why, you know, what we're doing is so special is that we all got together when we said, you know what, we're going to build this the right way. We're going to build this with the right culture. We're going to build this with the right foundation. We're going to build this um, so we can be here long term and just do it right you know, one last time. So obviously, massive gratitude uh, to Mr. Justin Owens. Also, Malcolm and Brittany Garrison. Uh, these people are phenomenal individuals as well. And they have proven that they understand the business. They understand how to build. Uh, they understand, you know, culture. They understand how to, you know, you know, take their lives to the next level. So they're amazing mentors as well. You see, I'm here tonight to be a supporting cast member. But listen, a lot of you on the call, you already know what you need to do. Okay, what we're going to talk about tonight is why you're not doing what you already know you should be doing because that's what holds us back. Because you know Chairman 500 is 500 customers. You know that it's got to be 200, 200, 100 in a perfect structure. You know every day you need to be building the business and building the business is prospecting, presenting, promoting. So the, the tangible items, the, the practicality of network marketing, you know, whether it's you know, a protein shake or a bottle of water or, you know, Forex, binary options, crypto, e-commerce, you know, the fundamentals are the fundamentals. So I'm going to touch on those, you know, lightly, but I'm gonna, then I'm going to dive deep into, you know, why, why I believe that, you know, I've been able to do what I've been able to do at the age of 30, you know, coming from, you know, middle class, upper middle class, like that, there's like that little section, that was me, right? My parents showed a 98 Ford Expedition. Uh, my mom drove in Aurora. I don't even know if they even make those anymore. And I watched work ethic at a young age. And I watched, um, you know, what happens when you're determined, when you're motivated. You know, yesterday I did a call talking about 
talking about leadership, right? You know, loyalty, you know, leading by example, um, you know, increasing your awareness, you know, be, being, uh, being resilient, being disciplined. These are all words that we've got to really, you know, let, let them become a part of us. Let, let them get involved in our psyche because this business, a lot of it is mental, right? So Malcolm and Brittany Garrison are incredible people. Obviously, Vince Murphy is another person that really understands what's going on. You know, these are mentors you can, you can learn from and you can model. You know, my mentor, Bob Proctor, said, listen, if you want to be successful in this business, find somebody, okay, find somebody that already has what you desire when it comes to results. You know, by, by their fruits, you shall know them. What does that mean? Well, by their income, by the size of their group, by, their, by the car, by their house, by their levels of happiness, okay? You will know them. So Vince Murphy, I remember meeting him. Uh, years ago now, which sounds crazy, but it's the truth. I think we were in DC or Maryland or somewhere out there. And we were eating a, a turkey sandwiches at one in the morning and Vince was talking about, you know, his passion for helping people. And Justin was talking about the vision for the, the organization. And, and it's such a blessing to see all these things come to come to pass and come to fruition. It just shows you how important it is to build a vision uh, and build it in, your, the, in the imagination of your mind, because whatever you think about, Whatever you suppress in the subconscious mind, you guys, we're going to talk about that here in a second. That's what moves into form. That's what happens. The house I live in today in Miami, the car I drive today in Miami, these were things that I saw in 2014. These are the things that I, I, I impressed on my mind, and then it moved into form. So we've got to get that working. Because again, you know how to call somebody. You know how to edify somebody. You know how to show somebody in the back office. You know what to do in terms of building the business, right? So another, another individual, you know, Paris, she's another great example of somebody that got in the business, was disciplined, was committed, and got the job done. And also Kevin Howe, another example of somebody that got in the business, got disciplined, watched the blueprint, followed, followed the blueprint, ran the play, and boom, you know, making money. So my wish for you guys in the next, you know, 45 minutes to an hour is to really make the decision that you're going to use this quarantine situation, you know, to the best of your ability. And the first thing, Okay, you got to change your perception on what's going on outside. The whole, you know, di disease. I want you to write down disease on your sheet of paper. Okay, disease. Okay, dis ease. So what happens is when your mind is at dis ease, okay, it shows up as disease in your body. You get what I'm saying tonight? So you got to make sure your mentality is right. Your mentality is far more important than what you say to a prospect when it comes to this business. Because I got news for you. Alex Morton, Yvonne Tapia, and David Emanitier, okay, when we came in this company, we did not know anything about training. Nothing. We knew nothing about training. We saw an amazing compensation plan, and then we spoke with passion, conviction, and excitement. I see my man Greg's on here, you know, brand new chairman, brand new ch chairman 25 up in Canada. So you have to understand that it's not exactly about learning all the fundamentals of training. I'm not going to talk about training here tonight because I'm not a professional trader and I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I am. Okay. What I do understand is sales, marketing, leadership, and how to have a quantum leap in your business. So if you want a quantum leap in your business, guys, hit 111 in the chat box. 111 in the chat box. If you're like, listen, I got the month of April. I ain't going outside. Trump came out last night and said, y'all are going to be quote unquote, inside at least the next 30 days. I saw Bill Gates on an interview today saying it's going to be April and he thinks it's going to be a whole other month. So we might be in this deal for the next two months. So my question is, is are you going to decide to, you know, come out of this whole thing, a better version of yourself? Or are you going to fall into the trap of fear-based propaganda and, you know, watching Netflix 16 hours a day and playing NBA 2K 16 hours a day? I'm not telling you the only thing you should do is build your business, but I am telling you, if you're not satisfied with where you are, which I know none of you are because I'm not satisfied where I am. I tell people to always live in a state of blissful dissatisfaction. Write that down. Blissful dissatisfaction. What's that mean? That means you're grateful for what you have. You're grateful, but you're, but you're, but you're ready for the next level. You know, Justin told me tonight, don't hold back. Speak the truth. And do your thing. So that's what I'm doing right now for the next 15 minutes. So you want to be in blissful dissatisfaction. Okay. So I'm going to give you the game plan 
for April right now. Okay, number one, number one, you got to you got to set a goal for April. I did this five times earlier today. Okay, number one, you got to set a goal for April. Okay, even the chairman twenty five and the chairman hundred on the call and the chairman elites on the line, we've got to set goals for the month of April. So what does that mean? That means you take out a card, right, and you write it down and you say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am, whatever your goal is, by April 31st, 2020. I know, I know we, we tend to talk about September and we tend to talk about December 31st, 2020. What I'm here to tell you today is I understand you have the big goal for the end of the year, but let's break this sucker down and let's skip two ranks in the month of April. Why not, right? If, if, if you can build it in your mind, it will show up in the back office. One more time, if you build it in your mind, it will show up in the back office. So number one, set your goal for the month of April, okay? Number two, make the decision. Okay, what does that mean? That means making the decision. What does that mean? That means deciding, hey, this is where I'm going to be. This is who I'm going to become by the end of April 2020. That's it, okay? So number three then would be seeing what are your possible distractions? What could possibly distract you from your goal? Who could possibly distract you from your goal? Who, right? Who, who, who has your attention? Who's knocking you, you know, off, off of focus, man. You know, I, I, one of the things that I'm, that I'm currently doing, you know, in my house over here is I haven't turned on the TV to watch any news. I'm watching Netflix like two to 4 a.m. I'm, I'm being real with you, two to 4 a.m. I'll turn on some Netflix, whatever, right? But I'm not, I'm not sitting there and staring at the TV and letting negativity infiltrate my mind. Because if you let negativity into your mind, that means that you're, it's going to put you in a negative vibration. When you're in a negative vibration, you're now blocking and you are blind and deaf to the, your goals and dreams and desires. So the, here's the question. What's more important, desires or distractions, okay? You need to figure out, hey, this is what my distractions are. This is what potentially can knock me off course. And then you have to e e eject them, reject them, delete those things from your life. So now you're like, okay, well, I'm going to recap here, right? Okay. I got my goal for April. I've made the decision for April. This is who I'm going to become. This is the rank I'm going to achieve. And you need to know this tonight before you go to sleep. Okay. Then you say, Hey, what could possibly distract me from my goal? Okay. Then you eliminate those things. And now what's the next step? Okay. The next step is very simple. Waking up every day and building the business. So what does that mean? What is just, why, what does Justin Owens do to be as great as Justin Owen, Owens is right now? What do I do? What does David Emanitia do? What does Bryce Thompson do? What does Vince Murphy do? What does Brittany Garrison do? What do they do? I'll tell you what they do. They build their business. So what does that mean? That means, well, number one, I don't care how much money you make it. I'm keeping it super real tonight. You got to fill your pipeline with people. What does that mean? That means talking to more people, talking to new people. My first mentor, 21 years old, he was making 50 grand a month in a skincare company. And you know what he said? He said, if you want to make a lot of money, talk to a lot of people. If you want to make a little amount of money, talk to, talk to a little amount of people. I said, all right, well, I want to make a lot of money, so I'm going to talk to a lot of people. Okay? Here's some numbers you can track every day, every day, all right? How many new people do you talk to about the products and services of this company? You can, you can track that. Right? I'm still prospecting. I was on a call today with a gentleman from Europe. He's actually in a skincare company, which is, which is funny, I guess. And he's like, hey, man, I'm over here. I've got a, a decent sized team. And, you know, I'm trying to, I don't, I, I want to look at what you're doing. I'm following you, blah, 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 right? And we're talking and I'm actively prospecting him. I'm actively sharing my story. I'm actively telling him why I decided to come into IM Mastery Academy. Okay. So number one, you're prospecting people, Facebook, Instagram. Snapchat, okay, uh, you know, all of these apps. Obviously, you're not going to go walk outside tomorrow and bump shoulders with Starbucks people, but I'm telling you, number one, prospecting. Number two is pres presentations. Here's the second thing you can track. Ready? How many prospects you got on a presentation today? Justin was a part of the they – did, they did four opportunity calls today, man. Like, they did four – I'm pretty sure he was a part of that. Okay, I know Bryce was there. David was there. Justin was there. All right, they did four opportunity calls today that you could plug people into. Did you have prospects on the call? And if you didn't, here's my next question. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you, the, I'll give you the word. Ready? It starts with an E, effort. 
You're not putting in enough effort. I'm keeping it super real with you because you say you want to make six figures and you want to make six figures at IM Mastery Academy, right? Chairman 10, 10 grand a month. That's going to be amazing, right? Or you're like, listen, I want to make 100 grand a month. Well, are you doing what's necessary? And here's another quote that was given to me when I was 22 years old. The people that took you to where you are today are not going to be the same people that take you to where you want to go tomorrow. The people that got Justin Owens to 100 grand a month, right? This isn't right or wrong or indifferent. This is just factual information. Will not be the exact same people to take him to a quarter million dollars a month. Because I'll tell you what, the people that got me to 100 grand a month in 2013 were not the people to take me to 100 grand a week. You understand? It just doesn't work like that. So prospects, pre 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 prospecting, presenting, right? And then you got to be always promoting the next call, always promoting the next Zoom, always promoting the next summit. We have so many of these big summits going on every single weekend. I was on a Spanish call last Sunday, 7,000 people. Okay, Jason and Matt did, a, did a, the, the, the New York Mastermind March Madness call two Saturdays ago. There were like five to 6,000 people on that one. Uh, there was an I Am Women call last Sunday. There were thousands on that. So, you or last last Sunday, right? So there are, there is an environment here, okay, of success. There is an environment here of winning. I know you guys see what's going on, all right? Just, just today, and, and I didn't even post them all today. Listen, man, Chairman 25, okay? Uh, Chairman 10, Chairman 10, Chairman 25s, Chairman 25, Chairman 25, Chairman 50 last week. Chairman 10 last week, all right? Four, four rank-ups in, in France. I'm sorry, two rank-ups in France. Uh, Ian Jackson, Chairman 25, and then Eduardo in Mexico, Chairman 25. I mean, I was talking to David. He's like, dude, do you know how? I'm like, I'm like, I think we've had almost 18 rank-ups, you know, in the last three weeks. That's almost one a day. Like, I, I, I'm acting like this and I'm speaking like this because it's like, listen, man, I just want you to understand what's occurring right now in your company, right? Some of you on here, you might be platinum 150. You're like, well, it ain't my, it's not my company. I got, I'm, I'm platinum 150. Well, if you think like that, then you, you're absolutely correct. Well, my business is going backwards. Well, if you think like that, you're absolutely correct. You know, Henry Ford said it best. If you think you can or think you can't, you're most of the time you're right. So again, you set your goal, right? You create your vision for April. You, you know, get an accountability partner. Tell them, hey, this is my goal. This is where I'm going to be. Let's hold each other, guess what, accountable. All right, you figure out what your distractions possibly are, and you get them You get them away. Listen, some of you, I know we have a lot of young people on the call. All right, I'm 30. I'm still young. All right, if you're not at least Chairman 10, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You should take your Xbox or PS5, whatever the hell it is, and you need to put it away for the month of April. All right, and some of you hear that and you're making two grand a month, five grand a month, a thousand bucks a month, and some of you legitimately won't even do that. And then you want to complain about what, why you're not where you want to be. Dude, you, you can't not play video games for 31 days to change your entire economic future, financial future for you and your family. I mean, let's just be real for a second, guys. I mean, honest to God. I mean, come on. Some of you need to turn your TV and just turn that sucker the other way. That's what you need to be doing, okay? So you set your goal, and then every day you wake up, okay? I'm going to give you guys some insight on what I do every single day. I'm telling you what I do. I'm not telling you, you know, from, from the books. I'm telling you what I have done for years and years and years because I am not special. I am, I am great, but you're great also. We're all great, right? Our spiritual DNA is actually perfect, which means we're, we were created in the image of God, which means we have the same creative faculties as, as God or the universe, whatever, or whoever you believe in, it's all the same thing. It's all energy, okay? And I don't have that much time to have to get, get into everything, but instead of thinking about, you know, your senses, you know, seeing things and, you know, hearing things and smelling things and tasting things, you gotta, you gotta level up and you gotta start to understand perception, all right? Imagination, will, reason, memory, and intuition. I'll say that again if you want me to, okay? Memory, will, Reason, imagination, um, memory, all right, intuition, the six higher mental faculties, how you create everything 
in your life. Good gracious. You understand what I'm saying to you right now? You don't got to be smart to do this business. All right? You, you don't got to understand everything to do this business. I'm going to say something right now, and I don't even feel bad about it. I can't tell you every product in this company. That's probably not a smart thing to say, but it's the God honest truth. I don't know every single product. There's so many new scanners. There's so many new academies and all this kind of stuff. I don't know every product in the dang company, it, but we got educators for that. We got traders for that. I heard someone say that. He, he was making $1.2 million a month selling coffee, and he said on stage he didn't know the whole compensation plan. So I said, all right, bet, I don't care, whatever. You, you worry about the products, I'm worried about building the damn business, all right? You gotta, you gotta switch your mind, man. You gotta, you gotta get obsessed, you know? My good friend Grant Cardo wrote this book, and I love it, okay? Be obsessed or be average. I love that, okay? And again, this is a millionaire mentorship call, right? Justin said you can say what you wanna say, and you know, not, not have to worry about people thinking this, that, the other. Listen, you know, I've been told I'm aggressive my entire career. I've been told I'm too much my entire career. I, I've been told I, wor I work too much. I don't have any balance my entire career. Well, guess what? Look, look at the results, guys. Okay? If you want to be P2K for the rest of your life, that's fine, man. You, you know, you can, you can have balance. I don't believe in balance, but you can have balance. You can do all the things you want to do. But if, you, if you're saying Chairman 10, Chairman 25, I see Randy Webb's on here. Go talk to him about balance. It's all, it's all in. And here's the, here's the special thing. Given the circumstances, a lot of you, if you had a job, you don't have a job anymore because you're not, you're you, you just filed for unemployment. My little sister makes a hundred and fifty grand a year working for a timeshare Fortune thousand Fortune five hundred company in Las Vegas, Nevada. And she she texted me tonight. My sister Maddie. She goes, I'm filing unemployment. I'm like, oh my gosh. If my sister, who's making six figures at twenty six in corporate America, whatever, if she's getting laid off at 150 grand a year, that means everyone making 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90 thousand dollars a year. These families, they have kids. I don't have kids, but you you know people that have kids, and you don't want to call them and share them, share them with with with, with the products and services here. To me, that's crazy, man. I got a group chat today going with my high school. This this is how this is the way I think. Okay. All my high school friends that don't do this business with me, I'm going to show it to you so you know I'm not lying to you, okay? And it's called The Fellows. It's a group chat called The Fellows. All right, it's somewhere in here. The point is you believe me because I don't, I don't tell lies, okay? And I'm talking to all of them. They all got laid off. Oh, my gosh. I know you don't like network marketing. You don't like MLM. Well, guess what? Guess what? Learn how to trade. Learn how to do Forex. Learn how to do crypto. Learn how to do binary options. One of my... Um, one of my good friends, Joe Smith, today texted me. He goes, I made nine hundred dollars. And I'm not making I'm not making claims right now. I'm not live on Instagram. Hopefully some of you aren't as well. Okay. But here, praise Jesus. Dr. K is the go. I don't even I've made close, I'm gonna show you. I made close to nine hundred since tuning in to her sessions. Boom. This dude's never made money in network marketing in his, in his life. Not hundred dollars in forty eight hours trading. I'm like, yo, you got to share this with the people. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna revert, I'm gonna revert back revert back to what I was talking about. But guys, in April, listen, just just make the decision. Listen, I'm I'm gonna wake up every day. This is what I don't do. I, I do not wake up. I do not grab my cell phone. You can ask my girlfriend. I don't grab my cell phone, and I tell her, don't grab your cell phone. You need to sit there in prayer and meditation for at least 90 seconds. Sit there and thank the universe for another day. Right now, you know, I think we're pretty lucky to be waking up every morning when people are, you know, not waking up in our country and in countries around the world right now. There, there's some pretty insane things going on. Guess what? You wake up tomorrow morning, you should say, hey, thank you. I do it. You should do it too. Why not? Be, be, be grateful. Be grateful for another day. So that's what I do. I say thank you. And then I, I have my own prayer. Okay, I don't need to share that with you guys, but I'm asking the universe for guidance. And I, and I say, hey, today on all of my calls that I do today, I want you to speak through me, universe, so I can better inspire and help other people to achieve the levels of success that they dream about so they can help their own family be in a better position tomorrow. And that's it. And then guess what? This is, this is what I do. Not before. I know exactly what I'm going to do the next day. Okay? I'm not saying you have to have an assistant, but I have an assistant. His name, his name is Matt. And every night, okay, I tell him all my calls, I screenshot like the call with Justin. I'm like, boom, here it is, Matt, let me know. And then today I wake up 
He's like, hey, you got this, 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 this to do today. I knew today I had the P5000 call with Costa Rica. Uh, I had a call with Kyle and Daniel about some different things. I was talking to Jason today. Um, I had the call with London at 4 p.m. Eastern. I got this call with Justin right now. Listen, you've got to you've got to plan your work and work your plan. You've heard people say that. Dexter Yeager said that in 1970, man. And, and guess what? It still holds true right now. You got to plan your work, and then you got to guess what? You got to work your plan. But you can't work the plan if you don't plan the work. So the night before, what should you do? Hey, tomorrow. Listen, I know tomorrow what I got to do tomorrow. Tonight, I won't go to sleep until I know what I have to do. This is what a lot of people do, okay? In this company and the whole profession of network marketing. They don't do that and then they wake up and they say, okay, I'm gonna build my business. And then they go and they start DMing people on Instagram. They start messaging people on Facebook and they, and they, and they think, yes, that's a form of building the business, especially digitally. But if you woke up tomorrow morning, whatever time you're waking up tomorrow morning, and you knew you had a follow-up call at 9.30, then you had an opportunity presentation at 10.45, and then you had this at 11, then you had this at 1, then you had this at 3. Successful people plan their day, right? I'm gonna, we're going to do Q&A in a second because I think I've been going now for 40 minutes, but here's the thing. Um, I, I know uh, somebody that I know works closely with the person that manages The Rock and uh, also manages somebody named Kevin Hart. You know these people, okay? And I was curious, I was curious about their scheduling because it appears that Kevin Hart and The Rock, I watched Kevin Hart's uh, Netflix deal. I'm sure a lot of you did too. It's like, it's like every hour, his, his life is programmed every hour. He, like, it's like lunch is from 11 a.m. to 11.25 a.m. Playing with the kids from 9 a.m. to 9.36 a.m. And I was asking some people in LA that I know, some, some, some management, artist management, and they told me that people like Kevin Hart, people like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, they are two years in the future. I want you to understand this. They are two years in the future of their scheduling. So that means Kevin Hart knows what he's going to be shooting in 2022. That completely blew my mind. And I'm over here getting excited. If my, if my social media team, if we know what we're going to post for the next 14, 14 days, that's like a big victory for me. That just shows you that I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Neither are you. We're always growing. We're always learning. So when it comes to building this business, you got to know when you're doing prospecting calls. you got to know who you got to call back and follow up with. The average person, it's taking at least six to eight exposures to get in. I mean, dang, it took me, for me to say yes to this company, it took, a, it took a while. You guys, Jason Brown, I had to fly to Vegas, sit with Chris for 72 hours, sit with ISIS for 24 hours, see every bank account, lawyer number, email, everything. It, it, and then I'm like, okay, let's do it, you know? So people that you talk to, here we go. When you talk to somebody, their paradigm is so messed up about business and success, okay? And the paradigm is what controls everything we do, okay? So their paradigm on network marketing is so twisted. So when, when, when somebody tells you, you know, well, I don't want to do this or this isn't for me, this is what I say to people. Even to this day, I say, can you explain to me actually what we do here in IM Mastery Academy? Can you, just, can you explain to me what your perception is on what it is we do here? People, people don't even know what we do. If they say no to this, they don't know what the heck we do. They have no idea what we do because if they knew what we did, they would do what we do. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? We're enrolling social media influencers now with 6 million people on, on YouTube. You know, there's people that are talking to Meek Mill. Julian Kush is talking to Meek, literally talking to Meek about joining the country. People are interested. Diddy's kids. People are interested in what, what we're doing because we're, we're, we're showing people, man, how to multiply their income, how to multiply their existing money. We're not pushing juice and potion and lotion. And there's nothing against that, but it ain't this. Nobody's in momentum like we are right now. So recap, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it back to Justin over here, okay? Listen, set your goal tonight. Where are you going to be, April? How many, how many, how many, I'm not going to say chairman, how many P1Ks do you want to break in your organization in April? You tell me. You got to set a goal. Okay? You got to write the vision, make it plain so people that will see it are going to run. You've heard that a zillion different times, man. And that's the God honest truth. If you came in my office right now, I just got notes. I just got stuff all over the place, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still writing things down. 
pen and paper. Some of you, you know, you're too cool for pen and paper. I look, look at this, man. I mean, look, I mean, all this, this is prospecting stuff. This is list stuff, right? I'm explaining, I'm explaining what a pyramid is and what a pyramid isn't over here. Like I'm still doing phase one activity. And that is one of the secrets of success. Okay. You can never become a manager in network marketing. You can never become a manager in I am mastery Academy. Okay. Ask yourself, Hey, how many new people have I tracked into this business in the last, in the last 90 days? Okay. You got, you got to, you got to track these numbers, man. Hey, how many people have I prospected today? How many people have I gotten presentations today? How many, I would say home events, but we're, we're all digital right now. How many presents here? You, you want to know a secret thing? How many presentations happened in my organization in the last 24 hours? You got to check in, man, with, with your top generals. You got, you got to check in with your top generals. What do you think I got over here? On my WhatsApp, I am core leadership group, man. This thing is buzzing every day. That's a Dragon Ball Z gift from Yvonne Tapia. But every single day, man, you know, Jason, Matt, me, Yvonne, and David, dude, we're on it. We're on it like Donkey Kong, dude, every single day. We're saying, hey, man, who's doing this? Who's doing that? Who's talking to this group? Who's talking to him? Who's coming in? What are we doing? Where are we flying? Where are we going? Where are we going? Right? You would have a core leadership chat with your organization, and you can be P600 and have a core leadership chat with your organization. Okay, that's how you raise the bar. You know, you hear David talking about the bar, raising the bar. Your belief system plus your actions equals your results, okay? Your belief systems plus your action equals your results, okay? You, you've also heard, you know, desire plus skills times faith. These are all different ways of saying the exact same thing. You have to know what you want, okay? Two more minutes, I'm gonna give it back to Justin. You have to know exactly what you want, and a lot of you know what you want. Then you need to find somebody that has what you want. This is what Bob told me. He said, act like that person. Act as if, okay, act as if. That's why when you see people on stage, when they say my mentor is this person, you can guess who their mentors are. You understand? You can guess who their mentors are, and then they say, oh, that makes sense. There's some people that are spitting images of their mentor. Oh my gosh, you know why? Why? Because when you study someone that's great, you learn how they became great and then you become great. Bob said, talk like them, act like them, work like them, and think. That's the biggest thing. Think that you're already where it is they are. You should not look at Justin Owens or Bryce Thompson or Alex or Jason or anybody, Tony, I don't care. You should look at anybody and think they can do something that you cannot do. Okay, you should, you should respect accomplishment, and then you should say, awesome, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. That's what I said at 21 years old. That's what I said. I saw people making 40K a month, 80K a month. I didn't see 100K a month yet. And I said, I respect it, I respect you. I'm gonna learn what you did, and then I'm going to times the work ethic and get it done a whole lot quicker, faster, and stronger. That's the secret right there. That's it. And when you start making some money, make sure you erase the ego. Okay. I learned that the hard way. Okay. You cannot operate with ego. You will not find my income on businessforhome.org. You're not going to find it. Okay. Do not have an ego. Just, 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 just take it from my advice. All right. Take it from my almost $2 million egotistical maniac mess up. Humility. The best, the best, um, the best edification I could ever get, it has nothing to do with the $30 million, blah, blah, blah. Like when Justin said, man, he's actually a pretty humble dude. To me, that means so much more than any other accolade because I know level five leadership for John C. Maxwell is when you have humility and you take the light and you shine it on everybody else. Some of you want to go to the next level. You're not going to go to the next level until you let the leaders in your group have their own wings so they could fly. You understand? Celebrate them, build them, tell them how great they are. That is how, that is the difference between a hundred grand a, a year and a hundred grand a month or a hundred grand a week inside this profession. So I went longer than I thought I was going to, but I hope you guys got some, uh, some uh, nuggets, gems, whatever you want to call it. This is my last call of the night. I've been going like all day. So this is what you get at the night time. So I appreciate y'all. Justin, I'm going to pass it back to you, man. I know you may have some questions or people have some questions they want to hit me with. I, I am all yours, my man. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. We, we definitely got some uh, stuff. I, I saw you with the line, man. So I said, let's go ahead and you know, switch, let's switch to the line. <laughs>
<laughs> but uh, so let's talk. Uh, first of all, man, I, I want to make sure y'all drop uh, some money in the chat because he gave us nothing but some money bags worth of gems. Uh, it's uh, it's very, very, very important that you know you always remain teachable and coachable. You always take notes. I, one of the things I can work on lately, you know. Um, you know, Alex, you talked about not grabbing your phone first. And that used to be one of the things that I didn't do. And it seems like it was probably the last, I don't know, a couple months I've been doing that. So I'm like, you know what, let me, I got to get back to it. And it's, it's funny how you can have, you know, you get all these things going. It's like, man, how did I get away from that though? Like, how did I just get back to that? So that's one of the things I'm definitely going to be doing and, you know, making sure that we have our leaders shining. That's something that we've, uh, we've been working on and been talking about as a core group. Uh, to make sure that we continue to do that, because the only way you can go to the next level is you've got to move out of your spot, and uh, and that that's 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 really big. Uh, I want I want to ask you a couple of questions if you if that's cool, Alex. Yeah, man. Still got time. I, I, this is the last this is the last call tonight, so I, I can sit here and we we can go. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, um, someone asked. They said, um, "How do you develop influence and help people get results while you're still young in the industry?" And I felt like that was a good question for you because you started off young in network market obviously still relatively young but you know start off really young and so how did you go about building that influence how did you attract maybe somebody that was more mature more had more influence than you more money than you how did you go about doing that so um the way to build influence my right? influence is earn it's not gain uh, it's not if you can't buy influence right it's kind of like the whole idea around respect like that you say respect is earned like you earn somebody's respect and the way my answer to the first part of that, what popped in my head when you said that, is leading by example. I think leading by example is the answer to many, many questions inside of this profession. Because when you lead by example, what happens is you don't have to, you know, beg people to follow you. They see you in front doing what's necessary. So when I got started at 21, um, I didn't have any experience. I, I didn't have any. I didn't have any money. I was eating Taco Bell and stuff every night for dinner. But when I got in the network marketing, I'm like, okay, so people are talking about these home events, like doing meetings. I got to talk to people. So when I started building my team, building my business, I, I never was telling, like one of my top guys, his name was Andrew. I never told Andrew, Hey, Andrew, you need to go do this. Andrew saw Alex do, do, do a meeting at 5 PM, 7 PM, and then a fast start training at 9 PM. So I gained influence by, do doing the most like you've heard a lot of great successful people talk about you know being the hardest worker in the room or being the hardest worker on the team people said that about kobe people said that about tom say they said that about tom brady so they you 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 start to gain influence over your group so they listen to the words coming out of your mouth well before they listen to the words coming out of your mouth they're watching your feet that's why even when i came in this company and i know lawrence young's on here he was one of the very very few people that were back there back then, you know, I never came in and was like, oh yeah, I'm VP of sales. You need to do this. You better do that. You better do this. I came in. I didn't, I didn't, I just started working. I just started working. Right. So it, it's like the whole string idea, like this charger, right? If I'm in the back of this and I push it, it doesn't go anywhere. You got to be in the front. When you're in the front, you can pull. So as a leader to gain influence, you got to be pulling the team, not pushing them. You got to be pulling them. Uh, and the second question I think you said something about how did you attract older people? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, you know, how did, how did you attract, like, and, and have the influence of, yeah. like, you know, people that are older than you, you know, if I'm, yeah. if I'm so, 18-year-olds, 20-year-olds, you know, how do I do that? Yeah, so um, the word that popped there was 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 congruency um, over a period of time. You know, obviously, you know, I didn't make the call to Yvonne Tapia uh, to get him in the company. He called me, right? So obviously that that came later in my career but it was the congruency of a work ethic. That's why I tell people, start showing your work early on. And I'm not talking about putting I am in all your Instagram photos or putting your link on Facebook. That would be a ding dong move. I am talking about taking a selfie in front of, you know, if you're in a room of 50 people and none of them are in your, are in your team, you take a selfie and you say, hey, I'm excited about the future. You take a photo with Justin Owens and you say, hey, I'm so excited to be working with, you know, a millionaire mentor right? You, you start showing the journey. Like people can go back on my Facebook. I actually tell people to do this sometimes. And I say, you go back to 2011, you will see me in network marketing in 2011. And I'm, 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 I'm taking a selfie with three people in a living room. And I was just as excited then 
as I am now when I show up to Bogota, this last event with Nicole Palacios, dude, there were 5,500 people in the building. And it's the same, I had the same energy like in my, in, in my spirit. So to, to, to attract maybe older people or people of influence, like you want to go recruit a, a good realtor, a good insurance agent, they just want to see, I'll tell you right now, maturity, congruency, and you know, you're getting different answers on this, but I mean, work ethic. I, I think work ethic. I think the people that have called me in my career to join the group or the team, like you know, Yvonne Tapia, right? Juan Diego, uh, Chairman Hundred, Nicole Palacios, a chairman, uh, he's Chairman One Hundred, right? Um, my cousin is an undercover Chairman One Hundred now. So you know, the thing is, is like these people, you know, they, I didn't, you would, you don't have to call them if you show the work, you show the journey, you show what's really going on and you show where it is you're going. People follow with vision. I always posted and I talked about, you know, yeah, I'm making 500 bucks. Justin, I'm making 500 bucks right now. I get that, but I'm telling you, man, dude, the end of the year, I'm making 10 grand a month. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the key. If you know where you're going, people will want to follow you. If you know where you're going and you do that by congruency, okay? I know it's a long answer, but it's okay. So this guy right here, Tony Robbins, he talks about being congruent, okay? It's your physiology, it's your tonality, and it's your body language. Those three things have got to be congruent, and it holds true on the phone, and it holds true on a Zoom call. Because, listen, if I, you know, all of you have been, we've all been called by telemarketers, and you know they're sitting there in their office like this, twiddling their hair, chewing gum, and they're and, you know, at and T's asking for money. So you can see how someone is, you know, so for the longest time, and I still do it today, man. If I'm doing a call and they can't see me, I'm, I'm standing up and I'm doing the call on my feet, walking around my condo. Because physiology has got to match your tonality, the way you say things, your voice inflection, right? Your voice inflection has a lot to do with how confident you are. Because you got, you got a very a small window of time to show a prospect or another leader in another company that, hey, you mean, you mean business? You're serious? This is the vision? This is where I'm going? And you would be insane. Guess what? Not to follow. Greg and Melody is another example. You know, they hit me up on Facebook. They're Chairman 25s now, right? So what, what I'm saying is, is that you got to be congruent and you can do this when you don't have any money. In my first company, this is what I did. I, people didn't join Alex in Vima because I was rich, dude. You know what I mean? They joined because of, uh, because of the vision. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. Let me ask you this, Alex, because obviously you've had some success monetarily now, um, and it's, it's incredible. It's phenomenal. We celebrate that. Can you talk about the journey on the way up, though? Like, because you have some people now that they, you know, never made five thousand a month, never made ten thousand a month. Like, you know, what to do with money as you're getting it? I think now is a really good time to pay attention to it because we're, we're starting to we're starting to find out who hadn't been doing the right things with their money, right, in the outside world, you know. But but what are what are, there, are there any tips that you would give to people as they're building their business, what to do with their money as they're going along? Yeah, I, I wish somebody told me that. Um, my first four years, and this is a really good call, by the way, this is awesome. Um, a lot of people in the industry that I've realized over the years that have actually made six figure incomes in network marketing actually go broke because nobody taught them what to do with money. And that could be a whole nother, and I'm not a master at this at all, you know, to keep it transparent. My first company, uh, I made 1.6 million and a year after that company ended, my savings was under 90k so 1.6 to 90 with no assets <laughs> so not really good right so there, i think there's two different ways i've seen people take a dollar it's like a hundred percent and they say you want your if you guys are taking notes this is good okay you want to you want your you want your life to be uh, like your lifestyle so like your your rent, your food, your mortgage payment, your phone bill, your clothes, everything, you want 20% of that to go there, okay? Um, I've seen a lot of people say 10% to charity, okay? Which is super amazing, right? So that's, that's 30. Um, I think 20, I'm sorry, I think 10, you wanna save it, okay? And there's different levels when you're making different amounts of money. Um, 
So 20 on your lifestyle, 10 to charity, 10 you want to save. So that's 20, that's 40 right there. Okay. And what I tell people is honestly, and I was talking to a chairman of hundred about this until you're making 50, until you're making 50 K a month, this is my personal opinion. You'll get different answers, man. I think you got to be investing 50% back. I mean, in, in, and I'm going to get away from these numbers because I, I, didn't, I didn't feel right talking about it because that's not what I did. That's not really what I do. I just hear you talk about that. What I think, I'm like, until you're making 50 grand a month, you got to be, you got to be investing it back in the business. Um, there's a chairman 100 in Columbia, one of my very close friends, and he actually invests over 80% back into the business. And there's, a, there's, there's different ways to do that, but you want to live on very little. Like, it, I, I remember making five grand a month and going to the Gucci store in Scottsdale and spending two grand. And I think back on that and I'm like, dude, what do you, like, I can't believe I was that, you know, ignorant to money, you know? And I get people want to look fly and it's social media and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I don't know, man. Like, what Grant talks about, and he's got 1.8 billion in real estate, uh, what he says is 40%. If you can live on 40% and, and put the other 60 away for a rainy day, eventually that 60 raises up. And now you have a, you have money to go play. The market's about to go crash right now. I talk to Chris Terry every day. This dude is sitting there like this. <laughs> he's in this core chat with Jason Matt. And I, I can't be able to talk about this right now in front of everybody. But, you know, he's talking about, dude, this thing is going to crash like crazy. And you got, y'all better have cash ready to go buy everything up. So you want to be cash heavy. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. Okay. 20% you spend on your rent, your mortgage, your phone bill, you know, your food, 30 to 40%, 30 to 45% back, you know, into the business charity, 10%, you know, 10% is for you. So, you know, 10%. So if you're channel 100, making 100 and 120 grand a month, take 10 grand a month and go do whatever you want with it. Right. That's what I think. Because if you do that, you're always going to have some money, okay? Like there's some of these, uh, like for instance, I'm just using examples, okay? JD in Costa Rica, I told, the, I told him, he's like, man, should I get a new car, this, that, and the other? I'm like, go Chairman 50. He's like, well, dude, I'm making 30 grand a month in Costa Rica. It's like 60 grand a month in America. And I'm like, just, just trust me, man. Go Chairman 50 and then go, go buy it cash. You know, this is what my dad told me. And not everyone's going to agree with this. But my dad, this is what he told me. He said, if you can't buy it cash, don't buy it. My Rolls Royce, and, so, and people are going to give you different opinions. Like David, some of his stuff is leased. Some of it's purchased cash. And it's all good. Like he can do whatever he wants. But here's the thing. I bought that Wraith cash. I did not buy it until I, I, I don't like, I don't like debt. I don't like owing money. Mm -hmm. I'll be real. The place I'm living in Miami, I, I set six months of rent in one day because I don't, I, I don't want, I don't want debt. I don't want to owe anything. There's good debt and then there's stupid debt. Okay. Good debt is when you own commercial real estate. You own, you own, you own apartments and stuff like that. You know, d dumb debt is running up a Visa credit card. You're making two grand a month and you owe 10 grand on a credit card. And listen, if you're feeding, you're feeding your family, you know, you're keeping a roof over someone's head, that's a different story. But if you're in credit card debt, cause you're trying to look, you're trying to look cool to me, man, that's not smart. Um, and then save money and then invest. Okay. I'll, I'll say this and then I'll, I'll get off it. Um, every investment I've done where people said big returns or, let me invest your money. I'm keeping it so real tight. It's insane even to me. <laughs> I, gave, I gave someone uh, 200 G's last year with some other guys in the company. And they put in money as well. And he was trading people's money, right? Actually, two years ago. He was trading people's money, not in our company. He had all these returns and profits. And he was trading money for Shaquille O'Neal, Dwight Howard. Like, this is like a real conversation at dinner. I'm like, cool, let's do it. It got up to 300 grand, haven't seen the money since. Julian hasn't seen the money since. Another guy, haven't seen the money since. We all lost money in that deal. I gave some, we, uh, some people gave money to these Amazon gurus. I'm just being real. Gave money to Amazon gurus, 25 grand for your store. They all lost every penny. The mm -hmm. only investments that have paid me money, I'm being real, is residential real estate. I get a check every month, okay, from a, a fund in Arizona, and I get a check every month from this guy. That is the only investment so far that have panned out. And obviously, I'm, you know, Bitcoin's a smart thing, in my opinion, as well. But getting in debt, trying to look cool, that's stupid. Yeah. Could you, and you touched on this, Alex, could you talk about 
um, investing into your business, like in our business, what does that look like? Because sometimes people look at like, oh, I'm paying my monthly fee, stuff like that. And I, I look at that personally, and I, I don't know your perspective, I'd be interested to hear it, but it's like, that's the minimum. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. that's like buying McDonald's, but not right. doing anything else. It's like, I just got the building, uh, but oh, I gotta have some hamburgers. Oh, who's gonna pay for that? Hey, can you, like you, you gotta like do more than just get the building and get the restaurant. You gotta now get customers. You gotta, yep. you gotta do more stuff. So can you talk about what that looks like in our business? Yeah. I feel like this should be a chairman tenant of vault call now. It's okay though. It's awesome. Right. Um, You're right. <laughs> it's great though. Um, okay. Well, you know, it takes you back to one story, you know, in uh, my first company, I remember I was, I was a rank, uh, whatever star ambassador. It was about 10 K a week. And I remember Vegas convention, my dad who runs all my finances, he said, just want to let you know, it's not bad. It's not good. He said, the, the month of March convention was in March. He said, you actually spent like 52 grand. And it's cause I, I paid for so many hotel rooms. I paid for so many convention tickets. I paid for some of the leaders that busted their butt. I paid for people's flights. Cause I would, cause my upline said, you got to invest in your business. So I'm like, listen, if I got to make 40 and spend 50, you know, use of different language. I was like, screw it. You know what I mean? Like, let's go. And I'll tell you that I, from that point to the next convention, I went from 40 K a month to 80 K a month. And a lot had to do with that convention. So when you're investing back in the business, there's different things to do. And, um, you know, people can do what they want, but you know, some of the leaders run promos where it's like, Hey, for the next seven days, um, you know, for every P 600 that, Every new P600, we're gonna give them an extra blah, 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 blah. We're gonna give them every P150, we're gonna double their, we're gonna give them an extra 20 bucks. You know, stuff like that. I've seen people do that. Um, but really it's, it's, it's investing in the travel. You know, I, I've spent, mil, uh, yeah, I've spent millions of dollars uh, traveling actually to build my, uh, my business. People think that Chris pays for my travel. <laughs> he doesn't, you know what I mean? So like hotels, planes, um, for some of you that you start making some pretty serious money your p2 p you know p5 chairman 10 you're gonna start taking people out to dinner you know go ask yvonne Tapia how much money he spent on team dinners in yeah. 2019 it will it will probably blow your mind okay so now i know you know what i'm talking about so you're just investing back in the team man and, 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 and you start making some money you know let, let's run run an incentive and get 20 people to a bob proctor paradigm shift event you know i remember two years ago i did that. i know david does that um you know, I had, I, I think we had like 50, yeah, we had 50 people at Alicia Power Within in Miami uh, this past year with Tony Robbins. Yep. Those tickets aren't cheap. So you want to continually, you know, Jason and Matt, you know, bought 500, you know, you, you want to always invest back and you want to switch your mentality of, I want to save a little bit here, here, here. No, no, no. What you want to do is you want to drive your checkup. You know, if, if you have a cash flow, cash flow problem, you're not going to solve it by just saving, 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 you're gonna solve it by producing, guess what? More cash flow. And that's where the vision comes into play. Well, we made, we made five grand this month and, we, and we, put, we put four back in the business, but guess what? In 18 months, we're gonna be chairing 50. Right. So if you have that vision, it, it will allow you to think bigger, okay? Think like a chairman 50 when, you, when you're a P1 and guess what? You'll become a chairman 50. That's strong, bro. This is good stuff, man. I hope y'all be all taking notes. I, yeah, this is I, I, I don't think I've ever done something like this with <laughs> 700, whatever it is, 600, 700 people. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is, this is solid, bro. This is, this is powerful. Um, here's a good question. You, cause you talked about, uh, you know, talking to different networkers and stuff like that. How, what have you seen that works to be able to, to be able to prospect and talk to other people that are in the industry, uh, maybe that have had some success, maybe some that haven't, like, have, have you seen any things that really work? Yeah, keep it keeping it cordial. And um, one of the lines that I've that I've used is let's update each other on each other's success. Um, I've done that several times with people. You know, if it, if they're like, man, the time's not right now. You know, maybe down the you know down the road we'll see. I'm like, awesome. Let, let, let's let's stay in touch and keep each other updated on each other's success. And um, when you're when you're talking to people in other companies, like like for instance, today this guy's in Jeunesse. He wrote me, but we're talking. I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing his company. Um, I'm just showing how strong our company is. And one of the quotes that 
actually caused me to come to this company in 2016. You can, I'm going to give you guys what I actually say. Uh, I think I said this to Greg and Melanie and they were multiple. They made hundreds of thousands of dollars before they came into this company with chairman 25. We were at dinner and I said, listen, this is what one of my mentors told me. She, it's a girl. She, she said, Alex, and she's made, I don't know, 50, 80 million in network marketing. She goes, listen, as a leader, your thought process is this, where can I go where I can help the most amount of people make the most amount of money for the longest period of time? Where can I go? And that is 100% I am Mastery Academy. And that's not even debatable. I mean, I was talking to one of my old mentors. He's just a friend now. He's in a company, he's made a lot of money. And he's just like, dude, what you guys are doing, man. He's like, I can't even put it into words what you guys have done in three and a half years, you know? So um, where can I go where I can help the most amount of people make the most amount of money for the longest period of time? And that gets people to start thinking a little bit different. And then if I'm talking to people, I don't want to give names and stuff. It doesn't matter. But I'm talking to somebody that's super like alpha or strong. Cause I'm not like that. I may come off like that, but I'm really not. I'm a very like, when I'm not on whatever calls and camera, I'm a very quiet, like normal chill dude. Mm -hmm. I, I say, what do I say? If someone's like super, super strong, you know, I just say, listen, I know you're making 12 grand a month, but what about your people? Hmm. I mean, how many people do you have making 2k a month in any product based deals? I'm not trying to, I'm not talking bad. Dude, they don't. That's why they don't bring, that's why they don't, they don't do P1000 recognition at other companies. It's the same 10 guys and girls on stage looking all pretty in their suits, selling a dream that is highly unattainable. And that is why I almost left network marketing um, in 2016, because I thought I was selling uh, open Canada dreams. And I'm like, this is, the numbers don't make any sense. And thank, thank God that, you know, this company, man, it's just, it's, it's insane how many chairmen, and we don't even talk about the chairmen that are trading. I mean, we don't even know how many six figure traders have been created. You know, it's like more, there are more traders than, than builders, you know? So it's always keeping it real with people. And then when people say, here's another line. And again, this is like a, definitely a chairman tenant above call now. Show me yours. I'll show you mine back office because everybody inflates their numbers that I've realized. And when you say that to people, when you actually like posture yourself a little bit, listen, before we go into the conversation, because sometimes they try to recruit you, hey man, I'm open to what you're talking about, but before we go into the conversation, I'm a, how about I show you my last 30 days? You show me yours, and we go from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're not, you'll be playing with them, Alex D. <laughs> hey, look, look, let's just cut to the chase. Let me show you something real quick. Well, I mean, that's, but in today's world, especially with social media, we're inundated. I don't even know what it is, 2,000 ads a day or 20,000. I don't even know what the number is. People can smell the you-know-what from 10 miles away. So my big thing is, like, just keep, it, just keep it real. Like, when I talked to Yvonne and then when David FaceTimed me, um, I just kept it as real as I could. And I'm like, this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. You know, I would love for you to be here. But if not, I promise you we're going to get this thing done. Yeah. And that, that's, that's real, bro. I, I think you hit on something big and I, I'm kind of jumping off, off of your questions now because one of the things we talk about is like transparency in your journey. You know, sometimes a person is making a thousand a month and they don't think that's a lot of money. So they, they want to act like I'm at 5,000 a month. They want to act like they're 10 instead of, like you said, sharing the vision of where you're going. I think, I think more people have to be more transparent about where they are and, and really show that process. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know when I was platinum 1,000 and platinum 2,000, people was like, how do I go chair? And I was like, I don't know, but I can show you how to go platinum 2,000. And right. if you show enough people how to go platinum one and platinum two, soon you'll be a chairman. And then you can show somebody how to go, you know, chairman. So that, that's, that's the, the transparency in the journey, I think, is a really big thing. And you do that. You do that really, really well. Just keep that's it real. Strong, bro. Because if you lie, keep they're, right. they're going to know if you're lying. So there's no reason to lie. They eventually find out. I mean, they, you know, it's funny, bro. When I first got in the company, it was people saying they were chairman, and then they didn't know we were going to have a chairman section at the convention. I'm like, why you, why you not, why are you not sitting up here? Right. Like, oh no, no, I, I want to send it back to my people. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> now we got it. Now we got it. The chairman leaderboard, so we know who's who, right? But right. You know. there you go. Yep. 
It always comes out. So let's um, go a couple more. A couple more. A couple more. All right, a couple more. Let me, let me see. Like, let me make sure I got a good one here. Um, what point in your process did it finally click? I always, I always talk to the to everybody about the clicking process because. I, I've seen Alex, and you may be telling me because you've seen a lot of people that, that have gone chairman as well. When a person makes the decision to go chairman or chairwoman, right? That, that's a new uh, phrase as well. I've seen it typically only takes 90 days from the time they take, when they make the decision. Now they could have been in the company for a year, two years, but when they make a decision, it takes 90 days from that point to get it done. Can yeah. you talk to us about the moment that it clicked for you, whenever it was in the journey, whether it was, Last company here, can you, can you talk about what that looked like and then what your work ethic looked like coming out of that decision? Yeah, um, for me, I vividly remember, I hit a level called Diamond in my first company, okay? The residual was $400 a month, okay? And I remember the number one earner in that company called my cell phone. And that's why it's so important to always reach down, power down. He called my cell phone, I almost crashed my car on the highway, I pulled over, I talked to him, his name was Tom, and it, after I hung up that phone call, I'm like, this is it. Like, I got 120 people on my team. Yes, 120 people back then was $400 a month, okay? And that was my cooking moment. And then I completely turned the work ethic. Just, I, I just went crazy. I mean, I wish, I wish we could interview the, 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 the 22 people that made six figures with me in my first company when I was like a kid doing this thing. Um, Every day we had, every day, so let's say six days a week, every day I was at, I was, I was personally doing two to three opportunity physical presentations every single day. And then we did a fast start at um, one of our, one of our girls' houses. She was in the business. She lived close to me and we turned her living room into like a, like a hotel room. And then anybody that got started that night, we did a fast start training. So I was, I was, I was doing an event at five. Then I was eating, I was doing an event at seven, and then I was doing a fast start at nine. So it was five, seven, and nine, and some people won't believe me, and that's perfectly fine. That, for years. Wow. That was four, four years, okay? And then it, tra it, it transferred from the living room to then we rented the Double Tree on Scottsdale Road, Super Saturday. Cost me like 500 bucks. It was like, oh my gosh, we had a microphone. It was nuts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And then it spread to Ohio and it spread to Chicago and it spread to, it spread to South, South Florida where I met Matthew Rosa and Jason Brown. I'm actually, I met Jason Brown in New Jersey when he was uh, a club promoter making no money. And Matt Rosa was making 200 bucks a month in my first company. I, I met him at a home event. He was standing on a ledge screaming at people in a backyard. And they, Jason and Matt were not successful in the first company. That just shows you what happens when you are resilient and you stay committed, right? Um, so the work ethic, you guys, again, if you're in this to make a couple grand a month, God, we still, we, I love you the exact same. It's not my job to tell you what you, what your desires should be. However, this word right there, obsessed, you, you, you got at some point, and then Justin just said it, it, it typically is 90 days. Well, you know why that is, you guys? Because there's something called a 90 day law in network marketing. Eric Rory has a whole master training on the 90 day, guess what? Blitz. Because everything great in this industry comes in 90 day sprints, 90 days of obsession, 90 days of doing whatever it takes to get the job done. If you go interview the top 10 in this company, they will all tell you the same thing, all right? But again, you have to gauge your levels of desire and what you're will, really willing to put into this business. Um, so it clicked for me. I was making 400 bucks a month and that was it. You couldn't tell me anything from that point on, man. I, it was, it was, it was all, it was all in. So for here, honestly, every P600 should experience that moment because 600 is more than 400. So make it, just make that. Once you make that decision, it's, it's off to the races. I love it, bro. I love it. I'm brand new, right? And and I, I just got started in the business. And I'm like, man, I really want to build a business. I'm excited about this, but I don't know how to trade yet. And, and I heard you say something earlier. It's like, look, I'm, you know, chairman elite, VP of the company. I don't know all the products. How, how do I go from, you know, that means, you know, 
you didn't necessarily know how to trade initially when you start building the business. How do you do that? How do you how do you build a business on trading and and not really know it, but still learning it? Like how, how did you balance that process? Yeah, well, that, that's the first thing. That it, that's just like my first company where I got in. And I started I started quote selling the juice, Vima Vita Vima vitamins before I felt any difference on it because I was I was excited about the financial independence. Again, people join this company for financial independence. Okay. Forex is a vehicle to take you to financial independence. So when you get in, you don't, when I, when I, when I was back in the day, when I was VP of sales, dude, I was building the business. I didn't, I wasn't, I, I wasn't trained. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand what was really going on, you know? So neither did David, trust me. When he had his launch event in Houston, Texas, when I was there, Gary McSween and the Chris Shanks and Chris Terry, I think he was there. David didn't, he was like, dude, I don't, yeah, I, we're doing it. Here's Alex, and then there's Chris. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to be a professional trader to go build the business. You, you, there's so much proof that trading works. And you show it through other people's success stories. You show it through the education. You, th you show it through the, the, the trading. You don't have to you're, – because you're not going to become a professional trader your first 12 months in the business. So what are you going to wait 18 months to go talk to your friends about this thing? Okay, and this may come off the wrong way sometimes, but if you're, listen, if, you, if you're building this thing for chairman and above, you know, I'm not saying lead with the comp plan, but I, I mentioned, I've always mentioned the compensation plan. So you want to, you don't have to be a trader. You, you want to tell stories of other people who have become successful trading. And there are so many, excuse me, there are so many people that are now free because of trading. You know, I, I think I'm pretty sure at maybe two years ago, you know, we can't say numbers and stuff, but Lawrence Young got me on a phone call with a guy in Detroit and he told me a number he made trading. And I was like, I literally like 50 what? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, you, you don't have to become a great trader. Get that out of your, just get that out of your mind, man. Leverage. You're not, you're not using leverage. You need to leverage the education, leverage all of these go live educators, leverage these amazing product testimonials. That's what you need to do. And then you're gonna attract customers. And then also, if you, meet, if you meet somebody that's got a little pep in their step or energy, you need to show them a compensation plan. That's my personal opinion. I love it. All right, last two questions, bro. Last two questions. This was yeah, the first yeah, I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry over here. Last, last two, last two, right? Last, the first was easy. Somebody comes up to you and they say, all right, bro, what do you do? Or somebody hits you up on social media, what do you do? Did you freeze right. up? You there? Okay, there you yeah, go. Okay, we're good. Um, well, well, what what I say is I, I say, hey, Alex, man, what do you do? And I get this every day, right? I show people how to make enough money part time so they can eventually quit their quit the job that they don't like and then do whatever they want full time with their time freedom. Okay, or I show people how to make enough money. I show people how to make enough money from home to where they can get all their dreams, goals, and desires. Okay, and now I've shortened it up now because of like the you know, these podcasts and these different things and blah, blah, whatever. I tell people, if you tell me what you want, I can show you how to get it. And I stole that from Bob Proctor. And he told me, I got a text message telling me, use everything I've ever said because it's the real deal. Tell me what you want. I can show you how to get it. And when I sit down and I'm being, when I sit down with a leader, I say, listen, I don't want you to think of this as just Forex or crypto or whatever. I say, this is a vehicle from point A to point B. Tell me what's your goal. Oh, I don't have a goal. Well, let's talk about it. How much money do you want to make in 2020? Well, hundred, you know, so you have to ask these, you have to ask these questions, but if somebody asks me, Hey man, what do you do? You know, what a, a gentleman that, you know, he, it was kind of a funny statement. He used to say, he, he was making a million a year in our first company. He said, um, I get paid to have fun, travel the world with my friends and help people. Hmm. Uh, what do you do? You know, <laughs> now, I, I use the harmonic scanner to make $500 a month. No one wants to hear that. And again, some people will be like, Alex, you shouldn't be saying this to these people, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, tell, I'm just telling you my truths. My truths don't have to be your truths. It doesn't have to be Jason Brown's truth. I'm telling you my truths. My truth is I show people how to make money so they can do whatever they want. And th is that not what we do? Yeah, that's right. That's the God honest truth. Because if you start saying for it, sometimes people get confused. A lot of people, in my personal experience, a lot of people think Forex is, is somehow a math scientific experiment. So you have to be Cornell University qualified to trade. 
You know, Chris has a high school diploma. So I, I think you keep it simple. Hey, man, I show people how to get what they want. Well, how do you do that? I do it through the largest financial markets on the planet. Well, how do you do that? Hey, man, I got, there's a call tonight at 7 o'clock. If I sent you the link, would you watch it? There's a little tag on you guys want to use. If I sent you a video, would you watch it? If I sent you a link to a private webinar, would you watch it? Well, Justin's like, Alex, you know, I'm really busy. Here's Justin. All right. That's cool, man. Here's the deal. Okay. Tonight's a very exclusive presentation. I'm only allowed to invite two people, two people, and that's it. So if you want the link, I need to count on you that you're going to show up. Hmm. Yeah. Someone wrote that part. Yes. Fear of guess what? Loss. Take it away, man. Take it away. Fear of loss. I, I can that. only, I, I, in for physical events, when I tell people how, how to promote for events, hey, Randy, what's going on, man? It's Alex. How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. Hey, I, I only, got, only got about a minute to talk. Okay, number one, always be in a hurry. Always be in a hurry. People respect people that are in a hurry. Hey, Randy, I only got 30 seconds to talk. I'm late for lunch with my mom. I'm late for lunch with my girlfriend. I'm late for lunch with, I'm late picking up the kids at karate or soccer practice. You just say something, right? You just say something. So they now know, okay, he's got 30 seconds. Hey, Randy, here's the deal. I, I recently partnered up with some people that have made a tremendous amount of money working from home, making money on their cell phones. Listen, I don't even know too much about it, but there's going to be a guy Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, and he's going to be talking about how he's done, what he's done. When you see the information, it's going to blow your mind. Wow, what is it? What is it? Man, I, I got to go right now. Here's the deal. Okay, if I sent you a link to it, here's, here's the thing, man. The guy told me, okay, Justin told me to think of the two people, okay, the smartest two people, the, 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 the two sharpest people, the two, the two wisest people I know. I immediately thought about you. You want to give compliments. So I can only have two people there. So if you can be there, amazing. If not, I'm going to have to fill your seat. Mm. If you say I'm going to fill your seat, they're going to show up. Well, they may not show up, but there's a whole lot better chance. Hey, man, what's going on, man? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Randy? This is, yeah, what's up? This is Alex. Yo, there's this call tomorrow night. It's about, you know, we're making money online. It's pretty cool, man. This guy, Justin's going to talk about, you know, success that he's had. I, I, I'm, I'm going to send you the link. Wait, what? You, you, have to have, you have to have a sense of urgency. Urgency, fear of loss, take it away. All right, and for some of you on the line that are, um, you know, scared to get on the phone or, you know, you're scared to talk to people or you're, you claim you're an introvert, which, by the way, you decided to be an introvert at some point in your life. Nobody is born an extra or introvert, okay? Um, be brave for 30 seconds because if you're not, because you got to have tonality when you say it. You got it. This is like this. The, I used to do these trainings in 2012 and they still work today because on Instagram, you leave voice messages. Dude, when that guy from Jeunesse today wrote me, um, I can't pronounce his name. But when he wrote me today, dude, I, when I, when I talked to him, I left him a voice message. I didn't text him back on Instagram. I left him a voice note so he can hear my excitement level in what we're doing here all right somebody said they stutter though what do it anyway guys yeah do, do it, it anyway yeah do it yeah, gotta be perfect you, it, 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 yeah it doesn't look, have to be perfect it don't have to be perfect y'all here's what i noticed and i just posted i said listen the excuses don't change in this business just the faces that's it the, 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 it's the same excuses some people don't have the time. Some people don't have the money. Some people don't speak well. Some people don't have the money. Blah, 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 blah. All of us excuses. Because yeah, by the way, I promise you, I promise you, we have a chairman right now that stutters. Dude, I was going to tell you, <laughs> Enrique Cuerva is Daniel Cuerva's brother. They split the position. Their chairman 50s in Peru. It's not just stuttering. He has a actual um, mental, I don't want to use the word disease. He has a mental challenge. And he speaks... He's spoken on stage with me probably five times in my four years in this company. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he's chairman yeah. 50. Okay. Bro, that's, why, that's why we get a special, bro. There's literally somebody that looks like everybody that's winning. It, I, it don't matter the situation. I'm telling y'all right now, we can point to a chairman or chairwoman and say they're winning. 
Last question, actually. I know you got to eat, bro. It's April 1st. I'm brand new. I've been in the business for a little while. I'm I'm relaunching. I'm writing my list over. Say say you need brand new. Yeah. Huh? I was going to say you need to relaunch. Yeah. yeah. I'm relaunching or I'm brand new and I wrote my list. It's April 1st and I'm Alex Morton. How am I starting the month of April and what is my activity throughout the month? I'm probably blaring some music and getting jumping up and down in my condo in Arizona because this month of April, I'm changing my life. No matter what I have to do, I'm rank advancing in the month of April. So I get myself in the correct state first, all right? Number one. Number two, if I have my list, I know when my upline my Justins, my Davids, my Bryces, my Lawrences, my Randys, my whoever's, Chairman 10, 25, 50s, 100s, and above are doing calls. And I am ferociously inviting people on my list to attend these presentations. And when they attend the presentation, when the presentation is done, I am not text messaging, I'm picking up my phone and I'm saying these words. I think y'all should write this down. What did you like best? about everything you just saw. Not what you think, not do you want to do it, not this is pretty sick, right? What, hey, hey Justin, man, what did you like best about everything you just saw? Step one. Step two, whatever Justin says to me, I agree. Man, the training thing sounds really cool. Man, I agree, that's what I saw. You know that Chairman 10 thing, he was, that, that, you know that guy was talking about Chairman 10, 10 grand a month, what? Chair, that sounds pretty cool. Amazing, that's what I saw. So step one, what do you like best? They have to tell you something because you're for, it's called forcing a positive. This is like sale, this is like actual sales training stuff right now. Okay. So what do you like best? You're forcing a positive. Number two, whatever they say, you agree. Okay. Like some of my mentors say the customer's never wrong. Even though they're wrong, they're never wrong. So you agree with them. Number three, this is it. And this this phrase will make you lots of money. Awesome. Amazing. Great. Sweet. Whatever word you want to use, let's get you started. <laughs> let's get you started. Yeah. So that's what close, people, people want to know, how do you close? So let's get you started. Let's that's close. That's, that's the, um, that is the best close I've ever used. I mean, there's lots of closes out there, but I mean, what we used to say in my first company was, what, what address do you want your check sent to? Meaning like, let's get you started. But then, I don't know, we're in a digital world now, so I don't know. I just think let's get you started is great. And then if they fire back with an objection, the top four objections, I don't have time, I don't have money, I don't understand, I don't believe it. What you really wanna do is you wanna overcome these objections uh, before you close. So, you know, that's a whole other call probably, but you know, you wanna, if you take all, if I take all of Justin's objections away, he can't object. Man, I don't, I don't understand it. Well, I already told you, you don't have to understand every single thing day one of this. I've been here for four years. I don't understand every single thing, but I'm making lifestyle alter and income, right? Number two is, man, I don't believe this thing, right? Okay, there's, write this down for uh, you guys on the call that want to close better. Feel, felt, found. Some of you have heard this before, okay? If Justin's like, man, I don't believe this thing, man. I just don't believe it. It's fake. Justin, I feel you. I felt the same thing. This is what I found out. I feel you. I felt the same way. So that you're not making them wrong. This is what I found out. Pyramid schemes are actually illegal business models. We did $180 million last year in sales. And if you actually brought in an auditing company to audit our products and services, we should charge $5,000 a month for these products. You don't have to say that, but my point is, is, you know, well, man, I don't, have, I don't have any time. Well, listen, man, I feel you, bro. When I saw this thing, dude, I was broke. I didn't have any time either. Mm -hmm. I felt the same way. This is what I found out. We actually all get the same amount of time. Jay-Z and Beyonce, Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron. Man, they all got 24 hours in a day. We got to spend our time doing things that are going to produce income for our families, not messing around every night with our broke friends, mm. right? And man, I don't, have, I don't have 350, I don't have 250. Listen, man, I feel you, because when I saw this, I felt the same way because I didn't have any money. This is what I found out. Every millionaire that I've ever studied, if the desire was high enough, 
they found the money. Let me tell you what I did. I sold my Xbox. I sold a pair of Jordans. I sold my books. I sold a laptop. I sold my TV because I knew if I sold my TV and I got started in 90 days, I could buy two TVs. Those are the top four objections. You can overcome those things, guys. Most people were broke when they started this thing. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I was eating out of trash cans, like my buddy Eric Thomas always says, because I wasn't. I grew up in a, a I mean, I, I think I grew up in a great neighborhood of Bexley, Ohio, but my dad drove a 98 Ford Expedition. We weren't rich. We had, we had, we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We took a vacation a year, but I didn't have any money in Arizona when I got started network marketing. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, you hear stories like Garrett Roberts, you hear stories like uh, Emery Holmes, Darwin Lopez, dude, Matt Rosa. I knew Matt Rosa, and we can close on this. I knew Matt Rosa when he was sleeping on a mattress in Miami, Florida on the ground with bed bugs. I knew Jason Brown, but he was delivering, I don't know why I laughed. He was delivering Chinese food and pizza to pay for his auto ship in our first company. Oh, and, and Matt, Jason's second company, they didn't make any money either. But guess what, they, they, didn't, they didn't stop, they didn't quit, they kept the dream, they kept the desire. And Jason attracted me into this company when he was making $5,000 a month. Wow. Okay, so if you wanted some motivation tonight, there you go, all right? If, if that can transpire, anything can transpire this is the longest call i've done in probably five could be all of 2020 i have not sat on a call for 90 minutes in 2020 i'm glad it was you man i really i really am thank you bro i appreciate you man i i i think uh everybody uh can feel the the sincerity the genuineness in your spirit and and you just you just give bro i and 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 you always give at 100 percent all the time and i know you're not always feeling the best but nobody ever knows man everybody nobody ever can see it and and uh i appreciate you you know uh, some people call it sacrifices i call it investments uh appreciate mm. you making the investment uh into us and into the organization uh because uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make sure we continue to pay it forward so uh, guys I, what i always tell people is look when you start making the money don't forget it all right but this month the month of uh april that's coming up make some investments you know sacrifices when you give something up and you don't expect a return. An investment is when you give something up for a period of time, but you expect that back plus some. And that's what we're looking for you all to get. And uh, Alex, man, you continue to show us what that looks like. You continue to be an example. And uh, I, I appreciate everything you do, bro. Much love to you, man. Uh, appreciate uh, the missus for letting us borrow you for this time period. Tell her we're grateful for her as well. I was, she's and, texting uh, me. She's like, yo, are we going to eat dinner? You know, <laughs> so I got, I got to get in there. So I love, awesome. yeah, I love you all. And if y'all want some uh, daily, daily stuff, make sure you're following the top leaders on social media, especially Instagram, and you will see the calls and the presentations and the work ethic. It will keep your butt burning a little bit to keep firing it up and, and getting after it. All right, bro. Much love, man. Appreciate you, man. You be safe, all right? All right, man. Appreciate it, you guys. All right, y'all. So that's it. Good night. April 1st, Audrey's going to be dropping the audio of the month in the group. Guys, go get, go listen to it tonight. It's 20 minutes long. It's a free link. If you don't watch it, you're not serious. If you don't listen to it, you're not serious. I, I made this audio of the month free because there's no excuse. If you don't do it, if you're not listening to it multiple times throughout the month, probably at least one time a day is 20 minutes. And, and most people are home. And if you're not home, you're at work. And you've got a phone and you've got a way to listen to it. No excuse. Look, April is the month of no excuses. April is the month of no complaining. April is the month of no whining, no excuses, none, none. Like, it's the time for you to get together and it's time for you to go to work. Listen, don't go to sleep tonight without a game plan of action that you're going to take. Not just action of like, you know, uh, 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 stuff that's cute. I'm talking about actual income producing activities. Who are you going to call tomorrow? Who are you going to prospect tomorrow? Who are you going to follow up with tomorrow? Like, have some goals. Let's get this thing done. Y'all, I promise you, it's so much easier to build this thing fast than it is to build it slow. It's so much easier to build it fast than it is to build it slow. Let's go get this thing done. All right? Y'all see it here. Go run this play. Go, go run the play. Drink, drink a cup of run the play in the morning. Drink a cup of run the play in the evening. And let's get to work. We got a special thing coming up this Sunday. Myself. 
Mr. David and ETA, we're going to be doing a Sunday night mentorship call. So listen, y'all saw tonight. <laughs> so be ready. This Sunday, right, we're going to set it on fire. Tomorrow, we've got the same blitz schedule. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, we're going to be blitzing this week. Myself, Mr. David Amenite, Bryce Thompson, Gary McSween, we're launching our week. We're blitzing our week. Use these calls. You could be launching customers on these calls, right? Uh, 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 Gary and uh, Bryce, I believe, are doing the first call. Me and David are doing the second call. Then we all do the third call together. Y'all, use these calls. These calls should be packed out every single day. And then you should be doing some presentations in addition to those for your business. So listen, do not play with the month of April. Man, some of y'all gonna come out of the month of April, platinum 1,000, platinum 2,000, platinum 5,000, chairman 10. How is that going to feel? I need you to be thinking about how it's going to feel. I need you to be speaking. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've done this this month. Maybe it's a trading goal. Maybe it's a business goal. Maybe it's both but you need to get it done for yourself and for your family. There has never been a better time than right now to go after your goals and dreams. And we're going to help you guys along the way. So much love to y'all. Appreciate everybody getting on the call. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And then we'll see you all this Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, myself and Mr. David Emanitier. Talk to you guys soon.